How are you doing YouTuber? Welcome to episode 14 of my Minecraft vanilla let's play. Yes, I've just eaten some rotten flesh, so that's why I've got those little spirals around me. Welcome back guys, how you been? You been alright? Right, so today I'm going to show you what I've been doing off camera, which doesn't look that much, but I've actually spent ages and ages and ages, not as long as gathering villagers, it does involve a villager by the way, um, not as long as it took to get the, get the villagers for the iron golem farm which I'm gonna go and check now actually I'm gonna check how we're doing there um, but yeah I had to get another villager which is painful but to be out to be able to do it out I need to like literally um, do what I had to do I need to get a villager basically so weakness potions that sort of, that sort of stuff better eat this somebody fresh. I need to change my diet, I might go on to spider eyes, I'm not sure. Um, so, yeah, so I've been working on another project, it's kind of a community project, um, and I chose the design, I got it from YouTube, yeah, it's not really done very much, so players have to be online by the looks of it. Not 100% sure. Um, I totally forgot what was going on. Oh yeah, the project. So I, was, I chose this design from YouTube. I found out this design. I thought, yep, okay, I'm going to use this design. Because it's not the design I want for my lab up there. I, I'll, I'll probably get something a little bit more complex. Uh, this one is kind of complex. It, you know what I mean? It's got a bit of redstone involved. Um, that sort of stuff. Timings and sort of stuff like that. And I've made this little shack. It's a wheat farm. I've made it inside this hip, this like little like mound of dirt. So I thought, yeah, go in there nicely. Out the way. Um, we've had to bring, um, as requested in the comments as well, um, someone said you need to take the mob griefing off for villagers to breed. Um, we've taken it off um, partly for that as well. And also we've taken it off for um, uh, this farm to work. So it's a wheat and wheat farm and storage. You probably don't even know what's coming up. So as you see, it must have just been done. And we've got a little bit of wheat there, but I think players have to be online by the looks of it for it to work. So we just stash all the wheat in here, and as you can see, use trapdoor to throw away seeds. Oh yeah, so it's it's not long, it's not long finish. So what happens is I might actually take you down down there. Where's my uh, workbench? So as you can see, nothing special, but not 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 too shabby. Um, this villager will replant the wheat seeds, and then they will grow they will grow naturally um, over time. So there's a timer underneath this. I will show you in a second. And this is just all for wheat eventually, so enough to like feed an army for a lifetime, you know what I mean? So, um, players can come in here, check this chest, take take a little bit of wheat, make some bread, um, or go off, take some with them, and maybe stash it in here. So eventually we have a good surplus of, um, of wheat. So the villager is a farmer villager in there, as you can see he is um, replanting. And what he will do, this is like a mechanic that was, I think, brought in in 1.8, actually. Um, but you need to turn mob griefing, uh, make sure mob griefing is off or set to false. That way, in other words, if creepers can blow holes in the ground, then this should work. Because we had mob griefing off. So basically, creepers would blow up, still hurt you, and um, yeah, they wouldn't cause no terrain damage. So that's why we've got to be extra careful now when we're playing this map, especially around the farms. These farms um, can be quite fragile if they start getting blown up. That being said, anyway, so what happens is, because he's a farmer, if he's got seeds in his inventory, so I've literally, um, because he was luckily a fresh one, I think they have like inventories that you can't actually see, so that if you throw them an item, they will actually hold it. Um, so you've got to give him seven, seven stacks of seeds, which we had from the farm over out there, um, and a stack of wheat, which luckily I had. Um, so yeah, and then that way he, 
he's going to be fell safe so he will just constantly replant because i think they get hungry and they try and feed themselves or something i've heard can't be sure um so what i want to do is try and avoid the um the little lava lake the thing i've got there going on down there i might change that up later on and make it a bit more safer so down here you can see all the redstone wizardry so we've got loads of hoppers so there is the center of the farm and as you can see the water is coming down and then items will eventually go into that center point and feed into the chest so what happens here is as you can see there is a uh, hopper timer here this hopper timer literally is about a minute i think it's a minute's worth so it counts down and every minute it will do that and then 60 seconds later when this go um this should go back to there so as you can see it's counting down because the comparators i don't know i don't understand it um and then what will happen is that will eventually um this this is linked into this one so as you can see there's uh, in the dropper there's 55 so that means since the last cycle remember um you were seeing him uh, the farmer just about planting i come in here there was no seeds being planted well that looks like five minutes ago it was um the the, the farm harvested the the actual crops itself so in 55 minutes that will activate the dropper system which goes all the way back here so as you can see the redstone you know the redstone wiring all that goes up there and start activating the droppers the droppers will then um, spew out water and that that water will then obviously flood the let's just put that down will flood the the flat farm inside there pushing the villager into the middle and all the loot into the middle so everything goes into the center point and that's how you harvest so yeah that, that's that's pretty much that that's that's that has taken me that took me a couple of hours, a good few hours just to build it and then to find the the villager was a pain i don't i like i like the mechanic of it but i can't do this in in my secret lab well it won't be secret because everyone will know where it is in the cliff up there there you go spoiler alert so in my lab or where all my automated stuff is going to go i probably won't do that design that is just a community design i'll probably do something different uh last time we were having a look at this boat thing i haven't yet obviously extended it i will extend it um i might even redo the the water flow i think there might be a problem with the water down there just so i can get my you know this launch pad i can get my boat out and then i can dock safely outside here so um one thing i probably will be looking into later on um is two things um i'm probably going to be looking into getting some way of us to be able to like have like i don't know player markets so basically we could have market stalls and basically maybe with no plugins we've literally i've got to find a, a redstone over redstone redstone sort of contraptions that that enable us to have that or something like that to be able to make it so that we can have some form of uh, currency in the game i might use maybe scoreboards Ooh. sorry i just was pressing the shift too much um i might uh maybe add like currency to the scoreboards so i don't know it's still vanilla right but it's just a decent a different way of playing it i'm not sure if i'm gonna add currency i've got to be very careful if if currency comes into play i'm not 100 percent sure but um yeah that's that's pretty much it so um yeah currency the thing is we've got to be able to make it so we buy only i think sell selling items will be a little bit cagey anything that you can make a farm we well, can pretty much farm anything in minecraft so we've got to make it so that um players can gain money a certain way um but not sell items maybe because I've, I've done it in the past on plugin servers and stuff like that um i've never done it on vanilla pure vanilla um but um we've got to be really careful with things like that
But this is it's it's a maybe, it's not a definite. As you can see my chicken chest is totally full up. But um yeah, it's not a definite. But um yeah, without further ado, it it's it's in the works. I'm I'm trying to get it so that the players can interact with each other and shops and stuff like that is a pretty good way to get you know, get builds going and stuff like that. But meh, it's very, very, very far away before we even do any of that. But I want to, uh, yeah, I've got, I'm trying to think long term, basically. So what did you think of the wheat farm? Did you like it? Was it good? I thought it was good. So anyway, um, thanks for... What was that? Thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Was that and I shall see you in the next episode of uh, vanilla minecraft guys thanks for watching I'll see you next time I'm gonna take a sleep if I can can I sleep can I sleep I'm gonna sleep see you later guys